friends, welcome to your Rediscover Your Core Yoga Workout Practice. This is the day seven class of our yoga journey series. So if you're joining me here for day seven, welcome. If you are here just to do a really good killer yoga workout for your core, welcome as well. Uh, today's practice is exactly what the title says. We're going to be really focusing on toning and strengthening our core through different variations of plank exercises as well as combining it with a really nice yoga flow so you have a really nice balance between strength and breath and movement. All right, so you won't need any equipment for this class today, just yourself and your mat. So if you're ready, roll out that mat and let's begin. This video is part of our Boho Beautiful program, 14 Days of Free Yoga. You can sign up today for the two-week course consisting of 28 yoga and meditation videos by heading to bohobeautiful.life slash free yoga. There is no catch and no hidden fee. And when you sign up, you will receive our mindfulness journey guidebook, plus a new free yoga and guided meditation class delivered each day to your inbox. Go to bohobeautiful.life slash free yoga and begin your journey today. With that said, let's get back to our practice. Grab your mat and let's begin. All right, friends. So to begin our practice today, we're actually going to start in all fours position. So come on over to the middle of your mat and you want to make sure that your shoulders are right above your wrists. Your hips are right above your knees. From here, let's just take a deep breath in and allow the belly to drop. Look up. On your exhalation, you're going to slowly release and round the spine, pull the navel in towards the back. Inhale, arch the back, look up. Exhale, coming into your cat. Round and tuck that chin in if you can as well. Inhale, look up. Exhale, let it go. So just adding movement to the spine, to the shoulders. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, coming back to neutral. Now let's make sure the back is absolutely straight. Pull the navel into the spine. Lift your knees off the mat and just let them hover. So tuck your toes underneath as well. You're hovering your knees. You're pulling the navel into the spine, breathing deeply. And then from here, we're just going to step out. Step out into plank position. And then what you're going to do is step back in. Step back in into the hover. Let's keep it going. Step out, step out step in step in so starting to work the core but also at the same time engaging through the upper body through the shoulders step out step out in in last four three stay strong in your plank two last one good hold that plank position Take your chaturanga or modify by dropping the knees down, chest, and then your chin. Inhale, let's arch the back upward facing dog. Open up. Stretch out your core. Exhale, push it back, releasing into your downward facing dog. Spread out those fingers. Allow your sternum to fall towards the mat. Yeah, just enjoy it. Allow the heels to release. Don't worry if you can't touch the ground. You can keep your knees bent as well if you need to. Just take a moment here. And then once you're ready, what we're going to do is actually transition over to our elbows. We're going to take what we call dolphin planks. So you can keep the palms grounded or interlace your fingers like so to keep a little bit more of a balance. Then let's bring our feet closer together. Ideally, try to get them completely together. On your exhalation, all you're going to do is just drop forward into plank and then lift your hips back up into your dolphin. So that counts as one. Exhale, bring it down and up for two. Down and three. Down and four. We're doing ten. And five, working the shoulders. Again, working the entire core here. And seven, lift up. Exhale, eight, exhale, nine, last one, 10, 
hold it here let go of your hands so ground the palms of your hands and all you're gonna do is just tap your knees and up for ten nine eight seven six stay with me five four three you're gonna feel this in the shoulders too I promise one great job come into plank step back into full plank you can modify by dropping the knees if you need to good from here take your chaturanga dandasana inhale upward facing dog exhale push back releasing into your downward facing dog well done stretch it out stretch out those shoulders we got one more set to go just breathe with me if it starts to get too much you can slow down the tempo and even do half but just do your best to at least do what you can let's come on down to our elbows interlace your fingers feet together lift your hips and pelvis up on your exhalation drop it down one inhale lift exhale two lift exhale three you're doing great keep going four exhale five and six and seven three more eight and nine one more hold it here ten open up your hands elbow plank all you're gonna do is just do a little step out with your right foot step it back in step out with your left and in we got ten and nine you're doing great I'm feeling it with you we're in this together you guys seven and six stay in your plank do not let your hips dip or lift too high five and four and three and two last one you got it come on up to your elbow full plank now chaturanga upward facing dog exhale release it back downward facing dog well done you guys if your shoulders feel a little stiff you can take this opportunity right now and just shake out those arms if you need to great inhale now as you exhale come on over into again plank position this time we're going to open to our side plank so opening to both of your feet stacking together reaching your top arm modification if you're getting tired in the shoulders bring down that knee to the floor or another variation is to bring that top foot forward like this all right just 10 pulses starting to work the obliques pulse it down and up for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 one step that top leg forward into the variation of our side plank and then reach your right arm up towards the front of your mat from this position we're gonna do a little crunch you're gonna bend that right elbow bring that straight leg in so left knee to elbow and then open that's one bring it in and two in and three in and four crunch it in and five and six and seven you got three more last one and ten awesome release back into side plank bring your top arm back high plank chaturanga upward facing dog stretch it out and exhale downward facing dog well done you guys breathe it out you're doing amazing stay with your breath stay with your strength you got this let's do the other side come forward opening into your side plank on the right side again take the modification that you need either bend that bottom knee or take that top leg and step it forward it's gonna make it easier for you if you're up for the challenge keep your feet stacked and let's pulse it for ten nine eight seven six five you got it four three two one step this top leg forward in front of you 
lift up and just stretch it out for a moment. Feeling that nice release through the side body. Deep breath in. Exhale now, you're gonna bend that top elbow and bring that extended leg in. Touch and open for 10. Touch, nine, eight, seven, six, you got this. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Step it back into your plank, side plank. Left hand comes down. Let's go ahead and take that chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Well done. Awesome, you guys. Now from here, go ahead and walk your hands towards your feet. So you're actually going to walk towards the back of your mat here. Relax your hands. Maybe your wrist feeling a little sore. That's normal. Don't worry. You can just stretch them out. Trust me, with time, the stronger your body gets, your shoulders, your upper body, these planks will get much easier. All right, bend your knees. Rolling up for three, two, one. Inhale, big reach up to the sky. Exhale, palms together, bring them to your heart, and then just take a big step with your right or left foot, it doesn't matter. And then we're just gonna turn. So we're gonna use the length of your whole mat and then open up the feet so your toes are pointing outward. From here, coming into a nice big goddess squat. So you're gonna come down as low as you can, engaging through those lower bodies so your quads are engaged, glutes are engaged. Deep breath in. Exhale, extend your arms out, and then take the hands behind your head. We're gonna do a side crunch here. You're just gonna bring elbow to knee. Exhale, bring it to center, that's one. Other side, exhale, two. Again, working the obliques, working the waistline, the midline, while at the same time strengthening the lower body. So a lot of different muscle groups are working here. Center, crunch, and center. Lots of power here. Breathe in, exhale out. Breathe in, exhale out. Good job. Awesome. We got five more. And center. Four. And center. Three. And two. See so if you can get a little lower with your hips. And one. Awesome, extend your legs, reach both arms, turn your toes inward, so slight pigeon toe, and then exhale, allow yourself to come forward into your wide-legged forward fold. So from here, feel free to open up those feet as wide as you need to, and then come on down. You can keep your hands grounded, you can keep the palms grounded, or maybe you want to reach for the ankles, whatever you need to just stretch out those hamstrings. Relax your head. Great job. Just breathe through it. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly from here. Let's come on up. Bend your knees and roll up for three, two, one. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, turn and pivot your left or right foot depending which way you're facing so you're facing towards the front of your mat and then step towards the front of your mat inhale reach up to the sky exhale dive it down towards the floor inhale halfway lengthen exhale step back into plank position take that chaturanga dandasana inhale upward facing dog and then exhale push it back releasing into your downward facing dog one more plank exercise, I promise. From here, we're gonna come into, again, plank position. And what you're gonna do is simply touch right knee to elbow, bring it back, other side, and bring it back. Let's go for two, two, and three. Try to get that contact with the elbow and the knee. Four, touch, and five, touch, and Six, and seven, you got it, eight, two more, 
Nine. Last one. And ten. Flow it out, you guys. Great job. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Walking over to the front of your mat. Make your way down over to your mat. One more exercise to finish off. I always like to finish off with a bang. And that's going to be our corkscrew. So what you're going to do is come on down to your elbows. You can also do this on your back. But I prefer it on the elbows. It's a little bit, you have a little bit more control that way. Extend both legs up to the sky. From here, all you're going to do is just draw a circle from me. You're going to bring it down to the right. Exhale and around for one. Down. And two. Let's keep it going. Big circle. Three. And four, you got it. Five, and six, and seven, eight, two more, nine, ten, drop your body, flex your feet, happy baby pose, stretch it out, just take a second to catch your breath and then we're going to do it one more time to the opposite direction. And I love corkscrew because not only it works your obliques but it also works your lower abs. It's a truly full core stability, strengthening, toning, all that good stuff. So one more breath, pull those knees down a little bit more. Exhale, bring the legs up. Bring yourself back up to your elbows. Let's do one more set. Starting to the left, big circle around for one. Now if you want to modify, you can keep the knees bent and just do little circles like this. Good, keep going. The bigger the circle, the more difficult this exercise becomes. So adjust the size of the circle to your level. Keep it going. And up. Bring it around. Good, you got it. last five and four and three, two and awesome job. Bend your knees, come on down, relax your body, stretch out your legs, stretch out your arms to over your head so you just give yourself a big, big reach. Breathe it out. Inhale and exhale, let it go. Awesome job, you guys. Go ahead and come on up to your seated position. Good, just roll over to one side, come on up. Come on up. Ground yourself with uh, your sit bones on the mat. Let's just take our final two breaths here to come back to ourselves, to come back to our breath to our heart, to our peaceful energy within. Inhale into your belly and exhale, let it go. Bring the palms of your hands together and over to your heart. And bow down towards your heart, thanking yourself for your amazing practice today, for pushing your body for challenging your core in so many different ways and for finding patience and love for yourself. Now remember, the more you do these exercises, the easier it will get, the stronger your body will become. So try to incorporate them as much as you can into your daily workouts. Thank you so much. Congratulations on completing day seven of the 14-day yoga journey. And I look forward to seeing you again. Namaste. If you've enjoyed this class and want to participate in more classes like this as part of our new program, Boho Beautiful 14 Days of Free Yoga, head over to bohobeautiful.life slash free yoga and sign up at absolutely no cost to you. Thanks again. Namaste.